Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some kind of intriguing news, and I actually had someone who works over at Target go and tell me about this story firsthand and say how this might actually be affecting some of the PlayStation 5 restocks. But as well, I actually did a little bit more deep diving into it, and I even saw news articles talking about this, a lot of other drama floating around as well when it comes to Target and the fact that they've actually been cutting hours and also closed down some stores for a major shoplifting issue that's been happening throughout these past few weeks. And the reason why I'm trying to bring this up when it relates to the PlayStation 5, because one employee specifically told me that they actually had stock in hand in California, but because of all these issues, it's been leading into really hard to organize sales get stock available out there for people to go and buy and also may have actually affected the playstation 5 restock now of course i'm not 100 on this or i'm not sure exactly how the internals for target are dealing with this because of course i'm not a target manager but a lot of this stuff does make sense this is a little bit of a speculation video too as well on why target did not restock and hopefully this will not affect a restock if it does happen next week so let's go and talk about this as well if you guys are brand new make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well make sure you guys are subscribed for the ps5 giveaway i'm gonna try to get that organized probably by tomorrow as well amazon links down below for the ps5 disc digital console controller all that good stuff twitter and twitch room down below if you guys would like to follow up on either or and of course weeble sign up for weeble deposit 100 you guys go get free stack free money Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. Those are always linked down below. Let's go down in the video itself. So as I mentioned, we actually had a Target employee go and confirm to me, because I actually I made that rant video earlier on today, and I actually had a few Target people reach out to me. Some people were saying, yeah, man, it stinks. We've been sitting on stock. My boss doesn't really know what we're supposed to be doing with it. But as well, like I said, we had one very intriguing person who lives in the California region that did also go and confirm that their stock was there, but ever since they've received the stock, due to how busy everything's been in terms of hours being cut, in terms of the stores closing, and overall just the hackneddedness of everything going on in their stores, they were actually not able to allocate and actually act accurately put the supplies for a lot of products, not just the PlayStation 5s, but that was a part of it, into their store's inventory system. And I'm actually kind of somewhat concerned to go and see if this is the reason why Target maybe did not go and restock this week. Now, of course, this is like I said, a little bit of speculation. You guys can give your thoughts down below. But that was also an intriguing thing to go and talk about because I feel like Target keeps on running into issues with all of this stuff in general. So I'm going to show this on here. This has been on many different news clips throughout this past week or so on the fact that Target has been having to, have to close store hours, shut down early, and basically had a lot of issues due to a massive shoplifting surge. And this has been mainly happening up in California. I don't think it's happening up in too many other regions, but it's something the to kind of know. Trend prompting a major so this is actually a thing over here from uh, Kate Pix, Channel 5 over here. Six, we've learned Target is cutting its hours at its stores in San Francisco after a spike in thefts. The new policy covers all stores in the city. Closing time now 6 p.m. in an effort to curb losses. KPI XY's Andre Borba is live with the retailer's decision and reaction from shoppers andrea so i can really go and say to you guys shoppers are definitely not happy because usually for me i know most of my friends work nine to five by the time they get home it's really like 5 15 if they have to run a target for anything they basically have to go right after work or well it just messes up the format so i wouldn't want to have to do it in the first place but as i mentioned the main thing when it comes to the, all the consoles is i do think with these stores closing earlier and having to deal with all these extra precautionary issues and have to kind of deal with this this actually may be affecting the restacks i mean maybe hopefully just for a short period of time but it's kept on getting brought up more and more and more and i'm kind of curious if this is more of like a major issue now i could be completely wrong don't get me wrong but this would definitely seem like not a fun thing to deal with well, Elizabeth, it is now 6 p.m. here in the city and county of San Francisco. And if you were hoping to make a Target run, it is now too late, according to the hours recently set by Target in an attempt to curve rampant shoplifting. Your Target run now has an early curfew in San Francisco, 6 p.m. Thanks to a spate of retail theft, six stores across the city are closing their doors to shoppers at least three hours earlier than normal. I'll be curious to see if other stores do that as well. The hour change was confirmed by Target to KPIX5 via email. For more than a month, we've been experiencing a significant and alarming rise in theft and security incidents at our San Francisco stores, similar to reports from other retailers in the area. So I want to go and touch on that note too as well for a second. 
even though like it's only specifically for this news article talk about San Francisco, we have been seeing these cases popping up pretty much everywhere. Like we've been seeing a lot more cases. If you guys remember, there was also like a mugging and attack that happened to a Target store that actually shut down all the Pokemon cards, game cards, playing cards, etc. in the stores for like a month. And of course, we've also seen similar issues to as all happening with Walmart and other locations. It's not just a Target location or just a California location. So we keep on seeing all these crazy things happening. And while it may not 100% affect when it comes to restocks, there could be an issue if there is issues with stock arriving or people wanting to go and hold more expensive things in the Target stores because they don't want to get robbed or have these things stolen. Once again, I'm not 100% sure if the correlation is fully, fully there, but this has been kind of like being mentioned a lot more and talked a lot more. So I do want to at least bring that up that this could be a reason why, number one, walk-ins might be getting affected when it comes to target stores or walmart stores because if all these locations are seeing really big surges in well scout like not, not at this point even scalpers just robbers trying to go and steal stuff and shoplift things if you have even more higher product like higher expensive products that probably seems even more likely and as well for a ps5 compared to say like a tv or a couch is a lot easier to go and try to sneak on out, run out the store with, or all of that, or even try to go buy it and then just charge it back instantly off your bank and say it was from a stolen credit card or whatever. So I was letting you guys know that it seems very, very intriguing. And this also, I'm not sure if it's going to affect restocks at all or not. I'm sure they, I mean, the extra not hours going away is not really a helpful thing. But this is something to kind of be aware of in case they do want to tone down walk-ins and walk-ins especially because like i said it's a lot more easy to get stolen over here comes after brazen incidents of shoplifting across the city have gone viral rachel michelin is the president of the california retailers association i wasn't surprised because we've seen other retailers close um in san francisco i'm actually proud of the fact that, that they're trying to hold on and keep the stores open Michelin says San Francisco is the fifth worst city in the nation for retail theft, with Los Angeles taking the number one spot. I guess you have to do what you have to do. I think that point right there is kind of what I'm trying to go and say. This they even just said is the fifth, not like the fifth highest one. And you also have other big, really big locations like LA and probably all these other big cities that are also dealing with a lot more shoplifters, a lot of theft. And as well, if they actually have any issues in terms of stock or stock availability, like managing the stock, that definitely could affect major restocks, such as for Target stuff, because if they just don't know even what inventory it is, it takes longer to allocate the inventory. So even if stock is physically there in the stores, it's harder to go and sell because if you have another 500 things you have to organize, go through, or be cautious of, that definitely does go and push back the schedule. Now, once again, I'm not 100% sure if this is exactly why we didn't see a Target restock this week, but I mean, realistically, Target having to go and change like a lot of store hours and deal with really big things like theft and people stealing stuff from the store that could realistically be a big reason why managers are like hey let's take a little bit of a break and try to sort through our stuff let's try to get the stuff all situated and go from there so i'm not saying it's 100 but i'm sure if i'm sure you guys gonna get what i'm saying on this if that's if that's what they just thinks the best option then so be it she says these shoplifters aren't working alone but are often juveniles and homeless people tapped by organized crime to do the dirty work there comes a point which is what we have shared with the elected leaders of the city where these types of decisions have to be made and really the bottom line is that's like this, this is so, such sad news though like just the idea of this is really sad take these drastic measures we asked mayor london breed about targets move thursday I think part of it is a combination of us working together and them having the right security and the right staffing in order to make sure there's a better customer experience. Um, cutting hours is not a solution. Breed says enforcement. And that's kind of what I'm saying over there too as well. Like they have to have like a short-term solution to find the long-term solution because they can't let all these stores be consistently being shoplifted and stolen. And the fact they even mentioned they may even have to go and, you know, barely buy and like, you know, employ more people for security and other things. This is like a really big priority and i could definitely see why target themselves would not want to go and deal with this because guess what a ps5 restock xbox restock that's nice and all but if you literally have to go and close down your stores and cut hours on your stores and hire additional people and if this is a nationwide problem like they even said right now that could be a bigger issue that they kind of have to focus on and have to get the solution for it first like it really is has to not be good addressed. So the question is, will this person be held accountable for what they did? And that needs to be a part of the equation as well. Andrea, are these early store closures permanent? 
Well, in a statement to KPIX5, Target called them temporary, though did not say when the early store closures might end. Elizabeth? They want to see the conditions improve before they make so, uh, yeah, not fun news, boys. Never fun news, and I feel bad for Target because they keep on having to go through all these crazy things, like I said before, how they were basically literally getting Pokemon cards out of their system because literally people were trying to go and, like, like mug people for them. It's not good. So I'm not sure exactly if this is 100% why Target may have actually skipped this PS5 restock this week because it's all brand new current news. But overall, hopefully Target can deal with this stuff for number one, helping us get more walk-ins for consoles, PlayStation 5 and Xbox and Xbox Series X consoles. We'll love to see those in stores, but if they have a massive, huge shoplifting surge and they're basically cutting store hours, that tones like definitely lowers the percentages for sure of walk-ins. But as well, it does also make the whole overall issue of just doing a normal Target restock maybe a little bit harder. This is all speculation, though, as I said, could be completely wrong, but it's very, very intriguing to go and see this and kind of not fun news to see this all throughout California. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If your thoughts and comments down below as well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, especially for the PS5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console controllers, Twitter and Twitch stream as well. A link down below. Weeble, sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100. You guys go get free stack and free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. Those are always linked down below. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more brand new videos. Love you guys.